Hello, my name is Zach, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club once again. Swiftly defeated Natsuki plops into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Xavier always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh no. <laughs> um, oh dear. Uh, um. Sayori. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Uh, oh, you even brought you something today, you know. Wait, Sayori. Uh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Uh, never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place, so any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. I is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal. Or uh, <laughs> yeah, I won't make a big deal out of it if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it, if you wanted. Th this is... How's this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Huh. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you have to think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities. Scheduled activities for the club, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the quarry. The corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for the shen. Meanwhile, Natsuki is run rummaging around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. I'm a feeling but I'm feeling too a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and Eve end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. That doesn't solve the problem, though. What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So, it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is really taking this seriously. It's rare to see her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, you think food will do the trick? What kind? Well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. 
Anyway, we still need to work out the details to the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self, but therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her uh, get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Wow! I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. He? <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Huh? N not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. <laughs> I knew it. Come on! At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Huh? Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Ah, I, ru I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's more There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't even straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe the stain off with my finger. But, but, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Huh? That's super mean! Oops. <laughs> Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer up from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> this is so funny. What is it? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kinds of things. Huh? D don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this, aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. <laughs> anyway, you look, you look much better now. Ah. Why does it feel strange to see Sayori face blazers but blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew! That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. So, if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? But because, if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. You take care of me better than anyone else would anyways, so that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things, huh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so. Oh. So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Huh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Huh? Monica suddenly calls out.